Hi, I'm Jen Fidel, the Pack Mom, here to make your life as a pet parent just a bit easier. Today we're talking about how to teach your dogs good manners. What would make your life more easy as a pet parent than having dogs that were well mannered? You know, the dogs that have have good manners under their belt are welcomed pretty much anywhere. Usually your friends and relatives at least tolerate them, if not love them. But when dogs don't have good manners, things are a lot different. Sometimes people don't even want to come to your house if you have a dog that jumps on them all the time. And definitely at restaurants or in public, they're not welcomed as their counterparts that have better manners. So today I want to talk about three training tips that I think will take you a long way. The first is learning how to teach the sit command. The second is how to make your dog stop pulling on a leash. And thirdly, how to get your dog to stop barking like a crazy person at the front door. So the first command that a trainer usually teaches in a training class is sit. And sit is relatively easy when you have and a good leash. So at first have your leash on your dog and have a good treat. Decide on your word, if it's going to be sit or down or whatever you'd like it to be. And as you say sit, the universal hand signal for sit is either this or this, something that's emphasizing bringing his chest up and his butt down. Um, and as you do this, you might want to have a treat in your hand and say, sit. When your dog sits, you say, yes, or good boy, and then give them the treat. The leash is handy because if your dog is not wanting to sit, you can kind of gently nudge him into that position with your leash. Second, if your dog is a puller, if you can't walk down the street without him pretty much taking your arm out of the socket, try this. When you're walking, as he begins pulling, give a command word, either no or uh-uh, or whatever word you use to tell your dog that he's doing something he shouldn't be doing. Once you get his attention, immediately turn around and walk the other way. So if my dog were pulling, I would say uh-uh, and I'd turn him around and we'd go the other direction. And I continue to do that every single time he tried to pull me in the direction he wanted to go. After he turned and was walking nicely, I would say good boy, or yes, or whatever your positive word is, and I'd give him a treat. The more repetition that you do that, as, as you do that, the better they will understand, ah, treats come when I do good things that mommy likes. Now, talk about barking at the front door. This is a problem that I'm still working on. If your dog is a barker and they rush to the door, choose a word, either no, or quiet, or uh-uh, or something like that. And as soon as they stop barking just for that brief second, even if it's like half a second, yep. reward them. Good yes, or good boy in a reward. And I guarantee you, the more you do that, the more you repeat this, they will understand that being quiet at the front door gets them a jackpot of treats and their barking does not. So I'm hoping these tips will help you teach your dogs good manners especially since they can learn up to 250 words and have the mental capacity of a two-year-old, so they can learn a lot. Have a great day. I'm Jen Fidel.